Good Saturday evening, everyone, and welcome back to a very late episode of Slay the Spire that is likely going live for anyone on the East Coast Sunday morning sometime past midnight. I do apologize in advance. Hey, we don't need to play that guy. We need to play this gal, who is easily becoming one of my favorite classes. We're doing a late video today, in part because the day got away from me, and then, you know, it just dawned on me, like, when I was waiting with my friends here, like, hey, you know, once everyone's back, let's figure out what we're going to play. And my friend Brian's like, I guess I'll play Slay the Spire, and I'm like, oh, shit. I forgot to do the thing I am frequently doing on a daily basis. Let's take care of that now. So we're doing a late run here. Um, long and short of it, just big sorry there. Did a bit of chore work with my family today, which was nice, and just, you know, all around. Uh, just, just forgot. I just forgot. There is nothing else to it. But I was occupied this morning. All right, 100 gold to choose a card to obtain. Go ahead and give me a card. Mmm, an early footwork. Great defensive option here. We can easily pivot that into a poison deck if the game allows us to do that. Hell, I might be able to take on some elites early. This right path is looking very tempting here. Even if this early shop has nothing we want, we have some good options later. Go ahead and do that. Nerf you. Hit you. Alright, it's, it's not a great opener, but still. Uh, I'm glad that I've worked on the opening hand of my deck here. Well, see, then you get this turn here and you're like, well, right. again. Game giveth and taketh away. Good day today, though. Got some uh, grocery shopping done with my family, so there's actual food in my house now to consume. Uh, namely, stuff that is perishable that I will probably put off on consuming and then make food with the uh, non-perishables, and then all of a sudden the apples and bananas have rotted away, and I'm like, oops. Big sorry on my part. So yeah, like, uh, this is just a very interesting opener here. Discard options or eviscerate, which requires me to discard to even play. I'm going to take Calculated Gamble. We have no offense yet. If we can, we might need to buy some offense here. Noxus Fumes is perfect. All right. We have a ticket in our hand here to win this game. We have the components of a decent poison deck. And if we can take it off the ground with that, I'm just going to run to the bank with it. Any poison cards are pretty much a pickup on site for me. Uh, unless there's a better option like defensive wise or maybe just like a fringe good block that we could use. One or the other. Yeah, hopefully everyone's having a wonderful Saturday as well. I'm sort of just dreading the inevitable Monday of like, hey, hope you enjoyed that time off here. Now, welcome back to work. Here's the uh, fire that is now your desk. Good luck. Uh, see ya, you know, uh, later this evening when you're still working on all that work. It's like, yeah, the reality I'm going to be looking forward to here. It's, it's the downside of, you know, oh my god, yes, of office work. It's like, hey, I got all this extra time off, but in return for the extra time off, if you do take it, you really need to, like, do something to make up for the time you lost. So basically, you get a day off, and then you gotta work, like, two, 1.7 times harder the next day. I mean, which is fine, and I still take the time off, it's just... Uh... And part of me is, like, right now, I don't know what's with me. I need to get my head in the game, like, quite literally for work, because I'm still not feeling it. Like, I'm already dreading Monday, and, like, this is after a long weekend as well. Like, something needs to click in my head, like, hey, you know... Whether you feel it or not, you need to get ready, because busy season is ramping up, and if you're not feeling like working, it's like, well, that's not going to look good on you when it's, you know, you need to work a little harder. So, definitely trying to get my head in the game. Just mentally, I'm just I'm just not feeling, like, you know, great excitement or delight with a lot of things in my life. And that's not, again, saying a plea or a cry for help. I just need to, like, mentally get myself together. Um, it's worth 10 block to kill you outright? Maybe. Maybe. Let's go ahead and drink this, and then do a super block this turn. We're taking minimal damage, and we will be dusting this guy in a second. We just need to kill them quickly, because Blocky Boy here is going to make that a lot harder. Okay, we'll play this. We'll do a Poison Stab. And... Just take the, the little bit of block he got right now. This is a very nasty fight right now. We could have gotten that Noxigeums out earlier. It would have been great, but... And you would block him. Motherfucker. Okay, decent blocks. Let's strike you since you're not getting blocked. The poison will ramp up. This is just really annoying. Like, you know, I get this good poison deck, and all of a sudden I gotta do this AoE fight that I'm just not really prepared for. It's just, it's just unfortunate. And don't take that as complaining, even though it absolutely is me complaining again. Um, need a little bit more oomph right now in my deck. Okay, we're taking one more five hitter. It sucks, but it's over now. The fight should pretty much just caruse on in it and then get a chance to play this later after all. Turns out it wasn't all in the cards to begin with. That's right. You expect you to have a bad fight every now and then, especially if the deck doesn't line up with you want. Uh, with what you want, not what with want. 
And I've never seen that guy attack before. I think I have, but maybe it's just like so rare. I'm surprised every time he dares raise his shield for a shield bath instead of protecting his allies. Good, Gremlin Knob. I need to get poison out instantly. Let's go ahead and get that rolling right now. Good. Yes. Yes. I think this is fine. We're going to focus more on doing the poison damage in the long run. His opening attacks are not too bad. I think you just go for the triple strike here. And I think it's worthwhile. If this fight's going to take a little longer, go ahead and nerf that damage. He's going to be doing a hell of a lot more here in a second. Because this is going to be like an 18. Yeah. If I block it up, he's going to take 10 damage this turn. He's going to go drop to 33. He's going to take another 10 that upcoming turn. I think we block here. I think we do block here. Mitigate this turn. And then try and crush him on this one. Otherwise, you take 24. Ooh. A close one there. We got him down. Shuriken, it goes against the entirety of the deck. That never ceases to amaze me how that tends to happen, but hey, it is what it is. I'm just glad to have it. I'm glad to still be alive on this run. But like, really, like, you could have given me, like, the fucking skull or anything else. Why'd you give me Shuriken game? Fucking hell. Is this me whining? Yeah, I'm whining here. This is bullshit. <laughs> like, how many times I tried to make, like, a zero-cost strike a lot of times deck? It's like, I need a Shuriken to show up. Nope. And then you got the poison deck going on. It's like, hey. Here's a shuriken. I'm like, yeah. Supplementally, it'll be good for our strikes when we have to whip them out, so that's good. But definitely could be better. You know, no half measures, thank you. Just give me one full direction of good, nothing else. Okay, okay, okay. He has the story. Let's do, let's do a poison stat. No, let's do... Let's just do the blocks. Big blocks. I don't mind this. We're getting nowhere fast. He's only doing a 14 damage strike. This one's weaker, so we can play this. Shuffle the rest away. Weaken him. Poison him. Filter the block out. We're just doing that to speed up the uh, deck draw here. So we can get a new rotation on tap. Weaken again. Very good. Get the Nox Dreams out. So eventually this guy will crumble. Eventually. Sooner rather than later. Huge turn for a little bit more poison damage. And he's dead. Good. Things are progressing nicely. Uh, poison Stat, by the way, it's a bad card, but I, like I said, I see poison, I take poison. It's like a seafood diet. I see food, I eat it. I see poison, I take it. Bane is solid damage. They're almost always guaranteed to be poisoned. I guess this is where the, uh, you know, half measure of the Shuriken could come in. So, if we can get some strength up, that thing's going to start hitting like a truck. Because it's not just plus one strength for us. Every one strength for Shurikens, uh, every plus one for... Bane is actually just a nice plus two. And a strawberry, it's a nice treat. After this round here and this card game, this round, this card game, I'm gonna go eat some strawberries that we got in the fridge as well, because those will spoil. I try. Whenever we get food, it's like, let's let's not get too many perishables, because, you know, there's a chance we're not gonna eat it, and it's like, all right, we got perishables. Need to do my best effort to just eat those. Yeah, that's, that's a nice one. Well, hang on, hang on. I think we want some longer weakness against this guy because he does have some pretty nasty attacks. The poison's already going to ramp up as is. Let's just go ahead and make sure we got what we need. It's exactly what I needed. Thank you very much, game. I don't think there's anything else I want, but if I could grab a... Looking for something else. Let's get some poison going. Why not? Okay, so he's charging up. I was really hoping to get my neutralize. I don't think we need to play it. So we'll do it like... Well, hang on. 612. That drops him down to 612. 7. Nah, can't kill him. So let's go ahead and just block it up. Let the poison slowly ramp up. It's the biggest hit he's going to get on us here. And then we just go to town with the poison damage. There you go. And we got a strength up. So Shuriken, I was knocking on you a second ago. You're going to be proven to be one of my strongest allies here in a moment. Go ahead and block again. We were, we're taking him for 20 apiece here, so like this this game's over like relatively shortly right now. Block. Block? Hmm. Still useful. Big block, yeah. And then let's get a Bane in there. Uh, we can get an end of them in this deck. We'll also be pretty happy because that synergizes just insanely well with Bane. Like, look at this. Look at this chump. You got 30 poison damage on you. You can't hit me. You're done. See you in hell, kiddo. Block, block, block. That's, also, that's also something I've been doing. I've been, uh, you know, decently reconnecting with some old friends from school. 
like, you know, like, I, for instance, I boot up, like, the League of Legends browser, and I was playing some ARAMs with my friends today, just because I do it on occasion. So I was somebody I haven't talked to a while, I see you're on there, I'm like, hey, I remember you. We had, like, this cool little, like, dynamic going on, and the dynamic's still there, I'm like, you know what, appreciate that. Very polite. Nice to chat with this, uh, young lady that I haven't spoke to in a while. She's still playing League, though, which is beyond me, it's like, you still got it, you're probably better than me now, so. Good on you, kiddo. Sneko's Eye, it's a great card, but I don't think we want it for this one. I do think I want some extra energy, so say goodbye to any money that we may have here. Because you know we're going to be fighting the fucking thieves, like, room one. Thieves are birds. I think that's, like, the only thing you can actually get early, so... Maybe I'm filling up my own, uh, prophecy here. And I could take on an Elite, but it's not a great path there. Two fireplaces, lots of question marks. I don't, again, I don't like running the gauntlet here, but, you know... If it's, I do like running this mystery machine path here. Let's see if I can get it. It's the birds, so this is fine. Poison out early, poison out early, ya ya ye. Solid blocks, and... I think I'm okay taking two damage to just amp up the poison on this guy in particular. Because it takes a while for the poison to catch up to these guys. If these two could just spend a turn buffing, that'd be great. Not the case. I will... Corpse Explosion you. What do I need to get the kill here? I think we just need to actually go for blocks. So chances are we're going to get more blocks in the mix of this. I'm going for this because I can get the neutralize exactly what we needed. Dampen that damage a bit. And this is worth six block. It would... Wait. Not enough to get a kill. Not enough to get a kill. So we'll block it up. He's gonna die, he's gonna explode on everyone else, and then they'll all die as well. We're taking, you know, we took a good whole six damage in this fight. That's pretty good for this, uh, you know, encounter, all things considered. Grill you, strike you. Get the shuriken, get a little block. He explodes, and everyone dies. Very good. Ooh, another deadly poison upgrade. Very nice, and I get to spend my money on a catalyst. All right. I have the keys to the kingdom in front of me right here. All we need to do is just cruise to the end. So, avoiding elites if need be. I mean, absolutely gonna avoid elites. I don't need to fight them. I will gladly block this, get the poison ramp in here. Might be worth it to do double poison here. He's gonna do his debuff now. Do that. Fishing. Still fishing. Doubling this now is not as good as doubling it later, but... If we can end this a turn quicker. I wasn't going to get a chance to have that roll around one more time, so... This is a fine decision. Two blocks is all we need. 14 damage. Pretty good choice. And he should be dead this turn. Yeah. Whew. Close. So far, this is like actually going insanely well. A second energy potion would be nice. I don't think I care. A well laid plans also pretty pretty good actually. We can grab our um, our survivor when we don't want to play it on the turn, and then we can use it later. Aberition, ek. Who's we fighting? The people's champ. Mm -hmm, okay. I think we go for it here. Maybe that's a bad choice. Maybe that's just an amazing choice. I think it's well needed. A second catalyst. Okay. I have the keys to success here. Upgrade the catalyst. Get the poison rolling. Catalyst, catalyst. Keep your blocks going in between. All of a sudden, this looking at aberration might not have been the best choice, but hey, it's the choice I was given. The choice I made myself, actually, but we don't talk about it too much like that. So as long as you draw an aberration, we're fine. We got four more in the deck here. <laughs> Actually quite hilarious. Gonna retain the catalyst. That's still, you know, that's, you know, damage you don't want to be taken, but... I kind of chuckled when I saw all that coming out there. So I can triple this right now, and I think he's just donezo. There you go. I think we made the right choice in doing uh, the, the, you know, the special blocks there. We probably would have taken a lot more damage otherwise. A second well-laid plans. I think that at that point you're stretching. 
Because you can just upgrade the singular one you have to retain two cards. I don't think a second one of these really does much for you. You can retain two good cards, right? But I can play most of the ones I want anyway and hold one over. So I'm fine with that. Dagger Spray is tempting as well. Just for AoE. But that's what the uh, Corpse Explosion is for right now. Which, the upgrade's not that great. The Nine Poison application is good. We're just playing it for the debuff in all actuality. I think we don't mind... Oh, I'll upgrade the other Catalyst. And I, I think I want to upgrade the Apparitions. If I don't have to play them on certain turns, I want to avoid that. Centennial Puzzle, that's good in conjunction with what we have. Sneko, you could cause me some heartache here, Sneko. Let's not cause any heartache. Play two of these. Go ahead and get the poison out on the table now. Actually, do it like this. Why like that? It's a good start. If I can triple that again, it just really speeds up the timer here. Good apparition, it costs zero. And this is exactly what I was hoping for, something like this. Okay, he's dead pretty much next turn. We only took one damage as a result of this combat. It's good, things are going well. Just gotta, you know, keep the composure here and like not throw this one away, all right? Uh, don't fight the elite, you don't need to. We probably could, but I don't even wanna look at the merchant. I don't care what he has. <sighs> okay. That's actually overall fine. I'm going to probably rest for the final fireplace here. Aberration. Let's do a backflip. Well laid plans. They all have the same HP, so we'll do it like this. I'm going to hang on to neutralize so one of these guys uh, will just be weaker for longer. Let's get a corpse explosion out here, please. There we go. I'm going to neutralize you. I'm going to go ahead and catalyst you, and we're going to block. Retain that. So, again, another nasty turn for damage. It would have been nice to get one of those other cards that blocked the damage for me, but we're good. Everyone has 66 HP. They do. I'm going to block anyway, just because something in my head's like, what if they don't? I mean, there is no what if they don't. They do all have 56 HP. Burclaw. Second calculated gamble, fish to the cards we need. Last bout of combat could cause me some heartache. Good turn for that. I think you do it like this. And then you just hope to God you can draw your corpse explosion to speed this up. Thank you. So that does speed it up a great deal. He does 56 damage to him. Calculate gamble, so you don't have to worry about that apparition just yet. Play this. Catalyst him for nine, just to speed it up. Yikes, no thank you. And he has been roasted, toasted, thrown away. Good, regen potion, ah. I don't think it's necessary for us. So like I said, resting here. 31 HP is just enough. A second footwork is not necessary, but it'll be fine on the turns we, you know, can't do anything big. Good. Good, good, and good for later. Good for later, yeah? Good for later, yeah. Got the poison stab, neutralize. Bane! Tell us about Bane. Do you triple now? I think you could, you want to start tripling earlier, because if we do a triple triple, we can actually probably just one-shot him. We need to get the poison in position so it'll actually do that. Uh, basically something yet to be seen. Don't throw this on him yet. Doesn't really add much to your, your play. I will throw this on him here. That speeds that up a little bit. Two more turns of this. So when he gets close to like 200, he's going to do it. So if we can get Catalyst right now, that's huge. So you Catalyst him here. Play that. Riddle with holes. Well laid plans. Escape. Aberration. I'm sorry. I should not have done it. But he's dead. So. Uh, just done very well. Like, with little to no issue, we just have rolled over this boss. That's a very good telling sign. End Venom. Yes. Broken Crown. Yes. And, you know, the keys to success are here. We get rid of those debuffs on these guys, we win. So, keep cruising. 
I have to find an elite. Ooh, I had to fight a few elites. I had to fight this. Oh, fuck me. I don't like going, like I said, I don't like going long stretches where I don't have safety. I'm thinking right through here. It's a double elite, you know, fucking nightmare. I'm scared because if I don't get the poison out quick enough, somebody's just gonna kill me. It just, it has to be like this, huh? Mm -mm -mm. Damn it, dude. This is... Uh, you couldn't just give me a, a break here. Layout's not fantastic. <sighs> so you... Uh, this upsets me. So we could do this path here. Rest before the big elite. Or, you know, depending how this path goes, choose. Then we get a rest no matter what. And then if we see things are progressing well here, we can either skirt on here or fight the elite if we need to. So I think we've made the best path here. We get to make a choice based on how we progressed here. We get some question marks as well, which is what we want to get the uh, other, you know, relic to debuff things. Namely for Donut and Starburst at the end here. All right, team, ready, set, break. Let's go. Okay, instantly doubling for a 9, or tripling, perfectly fine. Aberration, this, that, triple again. Alright, he's dead next turn. One damage done. Good fight, good battle, good good battle, squad. Let's all meet up at the bar for some brewskis. Alright, alright, alright. Poison potion is huger than you can think. If I picked Sneaky Strike up there, I actually would have cried. That just is like, you know, tainting the deck. Aberration for safety. He needs to go pretty much instantaneously anyway. I can, I'm can. i fine taking the one damage. It lets me draw a little bit more cards anyway. Can get Corpse Explosion. That'd be grand. Thank you. Rather use it on you, but hey. You don't get to pick the people you fall in love with, right? Okay. We got this. Get some block. Get some block. Toss on the poison, well laid plans, save the catalyst. And we can triple you and I think you fall over and die as well. Alright, very, very good team. Hey, we're, we're in this together at the end of the day, so we're doing great. Like, nothing is posing any big threats yet. No, no, don't even offer me that. Uh, give me the one option. No. No, I don't want any of it. You can you can keep it. Tentacle, not what I was hoping to fight here. These aberrations are also quite annoying. Catalyst, I should have waited. You know what? Let's guarantee at least some damage here. I'm fine doing that. Would have loved to save it for a boss fight later. Perfectly fine using it here. Um, hang on. We should only take two damage here. Good. Oh, I thought I could retain a card for some reason. I, I guess I was wrong. Poison, poison. Just filter for one more. Corpse Explosion, it's a little bit more poison. Okay, another two damage. It's a lot of hurt coming my way. That's a lot of hurt coming my way. We didn't draw any of our key cards here. This is going to be very painful. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to lose that much HP. Okay, he's dead. Should have blocked there, you fucking moron. That was very hasty. Oh, shit. I had 8 HP because of that stupid play. I could have had 8 more. Okay, okay. Nobody panic. Except for me. Footwork is good. Fuck it, dude. Don't take any damage. Poison stat. Poison stat. Another good turn for this. Twenty-two poison. Okay, double that. Block. No, no, no! Oh my sh fucking hell! I'm dead. I also didn't kill him. That was actually 
disappointing. If I had 10 more HP, would it have made a difference there? I'm thinking. And I would have blocked there? Probably. That is painful. It was going so well too, but hey, you know, I guess that is Ascension mode. This was a great choice. I've come to appreciate it, app, appreciate apparition a lot, a lot more. I'm just tripping on my words here because my brain is just like so flustered. This was a really good deck. Things you could have thinned out probably. The extra footwork's probably not uh, the best choice. The real with holes, I don't know when I got that actually. Highly unnecessary. Hell, even Bane was probably unnecessary as far as damage goes. Yeah, to like just get rid of these. So, you know, in ideal world, one, two, three less cards. Four less cards for its size of 30. Would have been good, but uh, didn't draw any of my aberrations there. That, that's the real kicker. That's how it goes sometimes, though. I think I'll do it here, because if I do another one, we're guaranteed to be in for like another 20 or so minutes. And you know what? It was a very solid attempt today. Um, I know I'm sorry for a, a shorter video here. It's coming a little late, but it was a good attempt. Uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and your evening here. Again, mentally, I need to prepare myself for the upcoming work week and just figure out what's wrong with me so I can get my head in the game. Because it does affect, you know, the after stuff. Like the videos and the, you know, the recordings and the, the streams, it all gets affected by how the day goes. So, gonna work on that. You guys enjoy the evening here. We'll catch you on the next one.